we've all done it. Had a few too many tequilas and made a drunken phone call or inundated your act with 1,800 emojis on WhatsApp. Oh, why doesn't he love me? But hey, it's life. In fact, I did it last night. So, Club 1830 TV, this week, we're discussing drunken texts. Ollie, have you ever received a drunken text? I have, Andy, actually. Yeah, once. I have as well. We received a text of Andrea <laughs> Lilly saying that she loved us. And then she said, whoops, wrong conversation. <laughs> but was it really the wrong conversation? That's the question. Yeah, sorry guys, but I generally was texting my mum. So in light of my drunk texting, we thought we'd ask our reps to tell us their drunk dialing horror stories. Enjoy. When I was younger, my, uh, my friend, basically, his girlfriend split up with him. And I decided to take him out for a drink and just get him wasted. I got him that drunk that we ended up like getting lost completely. I went into somebody else's house, a weed in their lounge. <laughs> a shame, I had to ring me mum. And she turned up and I was face planted in a bush. <laughs> me mum went mad. You know what Babe Station is? Yeah, I'm aware of Babe like Station. Babe Station. Not that I ever do that in my spare time. Or of course anything you like don't. That. Me and my friends, we decided to ring one of these, one of these things on the TV. And uh, the one we rang was pretty horrible. I mean, the girls were like, they were monsters, basically. <laughs> we got through to this absolute <laughs> whale of a girl. <laughs> and we started winding her up. It got to the point where she was like laughing so much she was crying on TV. And uh, we must have spent, I don't know, like 100 quid on the phone call, something like that. So the moral of the story is, yeah, don't drink and dial. And don't forget, we want you involved too. Let us know what your drunk dialing horror stories are. Leave your comments in the box below. Thank you.